<laughs> Screaming Wii is awesome, enough, why not? What the I, I, wait, screaming I can't begin. change my combat, but I am not. Oh, oh, I forgot about that. Yeah, it was your, the, yeah, yeah, the, yeah the, the weapon being out, it's it's a nuisance. Yeah. We'll take Austin, and why not? I haven't used her in a while. Also, the healing in this game for party members is kind of not that great compared to Hollow Realization. I guess I'm just used to having one solid heals only character in my party. Yeah. I don't want uh, to the... tell them to do anything. So, uh, it, it is part of the, uh, the record system, uh -oh. knowing how to train them properly. Because I think when I have Alice, I haven't played with it too much, but I can get Alice to do a pretty decent chunk of health. Right. There you are. Where is it going to spawn you? you? Way over there. By some, one of the save points. Alright. I see your name, but I don't see how far you are. Oh, uh -huh. you're, you're way, I can see you way, and I just fell. Cool. I see you way out there in the distance. Oh, you're way up there. Okay. Uh, so... Let's see, since this is your first time divine beast hunting... Mm -hmm. Go ahead and teleport to... The Londen Mountains. It's the map with, uh, ruled on it. Alright. Let's see... And I will guide you to the first monolith you need. Why is my mic... So freaking loud. Stop peeking. There we go. Jeez. Um, I will guide you to the, uh... Yeah, it's the very top map. Well, not the very... Not the very top. Very top map that's not a dungeon. Just warp to, uh... Go to Ruled, and we'll just go from there. Why is this still peeking, dang it? names of the... Of the... It does when you click on it. Okay, that's Twin Lakes. Do not want to go there. I mean, either way, once you're in a once you're in a map, it's a simple fade to black to teleport. So, right. I never I'm, worry I'm about it too to much. Go, I'm like 20 something hours in, and I still have not gotten used to anything in this game. Hey, <laughs> it's okay. It's time. okay. It's okay. I still I still mess up my L L1 and R1 and all that when I'm on the party system screen. Uh huh. Alright. Congrats. Oh, someone used my player avatar. Thank you. A. Cool. Alright. Uh, follow me and I'll take you to the monolith. Alright. Because these monoliths, they'll tell us exactly which areas we need to go to. So all the quests you see on the map that usually have a color, and they're usually labeled something like, uh... Uh, leader of a violent clan or something like that. Mm -hmm. Gosh dang it, microphone, stop peeking! Ooh. Here we go, jeez, sorry, I'm having audio technical difficulties. Anyway, uh, those, those are usually, uh, wow, it is still peeking, I cannot win right now. Those are, uh, Where the damage numbers come from? Uh, probably random party. Uh, anyway, who can decide? Yeah. Uh, these monoliths tell you what areas you need to beat those quests in, because usually there's, in some maps, there's uh, some regions, I should say. There's maybe one or two divine beasts in an area. I can't remember the easy way up this. Um... Down on the D-pad, my guy. Down on the D-pad. That's right. All right. There we go. All right. Now I gotta... Oh, come on. I swapped my character and the character wasn't even up there. All right. I got a... Oh, super high level enemy zone. Yep. Slow lady. Ooh. Are you right next to me? Yeah, all right. Do you see the monolith right in front of us? Uh, yeah, that big cube thing. Yeah, go see what how much of it is lit up. Um, 
the red one? Yeah, so let's see. Um, Lawn Den Mountains and Utra Valley. Uh, do you have anything lit up other than the very bottom bit? Not that I know of. So it's just the red ring at the bottom? Yeah. Cool beans. Yeah, so go ahead and get this teleporter. And now we are going to go and... Uh, so every quest on this map... Hey. So let's see. We're, go we're gonna go... Northeast, just a little bit, to that head of a violent clan just above us. That's where we'll start. This is gonna be a big beetle, dude. Hmm. He's not that big, actually. Yeah, they have this similar design wise. Mm hmm. Uh-oh, okay. Head of a violent clan. This map. Yep, so uh, let's see. Asuna, what did you do? Wait, why can't I teleport? Oh, mushroom. Anything else? I don't like about this. Yeah, out of out of every um uh, yeah, uh there is an AoE skill to get uh like I said, one of my biggest problems with this game is a lot of base uh mechanics that were in Hall of Fragment and Realization. You can only get through passives, and it's annoying. Mm -hmm. And it shows anyway, uh you had the twin lakes, right? Teleport there. Alright. Twin lakes, where you be? On the very top, I think you are. Yeah, that's where I just went. Uh, nope, wait, that's the end mountain. Wrong uh, one. A little bit further down. Uh, nope, that's where we're doing. Oh, wait, that's where we started. Oh, I'm looking at. Whoops, wrong one. Uh, I gotta get used to this. Is it still in. Um... Yeah, same place. If I can I find it? I saw it when I clicked it before. Hold on, let me get out of the map, maybe. Just... It's right above ruled. You should be able to see me on the map next to it. Yeah, there it is. Did it, it didn't show up when I opened it last time. Oh, I went right behind. Uh, your character is glitching all over the... Okay, no, never mind. No, I, 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 I was spinning intentionally. Okay, well, on my screen, it was doing something totally different. <laughs> yeah. you have a speed buff on? No, I'm just running. Oh, okay. I feel like I can't catch up to you. There we go. I do like that the, uh, your characters actually climb with you instead of just teleporting up there. Yeah, sometimes in multiplayer they'll actually glitch the frick out though and it looks hilarious. Yeah, I'm noticing that with your character. Yeah, it's so probably your, uh, Alice. Uh, Alice freaking out. Mm-hmm. Oh, nice. I'm gonna get more coal out of this. Uh, I'm gonna keep calling it coal. I don't feel like I'm gonna stop out. Hey, I, honest, I honestly can't blame you. I think I might need to turn my TV down real quick. It looks like my mic is picking it up. Give me just a sec. Mm hmm. It's not a problem on Discord. It'll filter that out, but uh, it won't for uh, stream. Hmm. All right, we're good. Okay, he hits kind of hard for your level, so careful. Really? That 
didn't trigger level three. Yeah, I was in uh, Super Arts, so the whole thing kind of slowed down. Oof. Why is this still peaking? How far down do I have to turn the volume on my mic for this to sound normal? Jeez. I want it solid in the middle of that. Yeah, there we go. Yes. Audio. I win. <laughs> um, Alright. Uh, yeah. Now we need to go the exact opposite. Teleport to the, the Giga Cedar. Gosh dang it, now it's red again. I just can't win. Or at least where the Giga Cedar was. Oh man, I can't even remember where that was. Right below right Ruled. Right below you should be able to see me on the map now if you pa un unpause and then go back in. Alright. Do I not have that spawn point? I'm past that spawn point. I've done I'm pretty that sure that's the one it forces you to use as the tutorial. That'd be super awkward if you didn't. And hilarious. That's actually that's, funny. That's okay. You know what? That's kind of stupid. But all right, let me just, just go to ruled. Yeah, just go to ruled and walk up the trail. Because I, I, there was a boss fight, a quote unquote story boss fight that also was there. Mm -hmm. And before you started, you had to press the freaking. Okay, well, now I gotta... That's kind of annoying. Oh well. This game has this little glitches here and there, but I still enjoy it. Yeah. Ooh, money is everywhere. I don't understand the points of these. They give you meat for the cooking skill. Ah, that explains a lot. Alright, guess it... Showed it as registered, but it wasn't registered. All right, let's see. Yeah, ooh, that was easy. I just see where you are. So I, don't know I jumped over the wall, by the way. Go, you can go ahead and buffer the quest, and I won't engage. Also, if, you, if you've been doing any of your dailies, you should be getting that one thing that... You get that meal that extends your, uh... Your experience growth. Yeah, it, it, it gives you, uh, the cube tickets and then... Uh, a meal that ex it increases, uh, experience. Wait, is that only if you turn the game off? No, it's every time you turn in... Every time you turn in uh, a daily quest, you get that. It's a food, it's a food item. Eat perfect shield, you monster. Back up here. I actually probably have to stay up there a little bit longer. <laughs> Yeah, when that happens, I'm doing that. Use Nightmare Rain. It'll jump up and hide up a bit and go back and forth. And 
And if you're using single hand sword, use uh, Sonic Leap or Vertical Square. Is the bond higher? Die in here. There it goes. A new seal has been the weapon bond has gone up a bit. Ugh, I literally cannot wait for that to jump. To be the better weapon it is destined to be. Alright, uh there's no teleport where we need to go next, so just head to dirt, uh, straight south. Yeah. <laughs> Look, if there's no punishment for fall damage outside of combat, why is it even here? True. And uh, now I'm pulling everything. Please get away from me. Also, the fact that okay. I, you can't recenter the camera with the stick still drives me mad. Yeah. Look, guys. Why is it all of a sudden you want to follow me, but when I'm in story mode, you guys don't want to freaking charge after me when I'm sitting right next to you? I don't. I don't see anything. What? They're yeah, literally right behind me. <laughs> yeah, I don't got anything. Can... They're chasing a little far than they should be. I'm quite far from their spawn point. Can you please stop following? Yeah, they'll disappear in a second. No, but I'm, I'm hiding these guys really far. Jeez. Why is my camera doing, doing this? Oh. Why is my camera doing- am I experiencing Joy-Con drift through a freaking PS4 remote? What is happening? What is happen- oh, okay, there's... That's weird. Anyway. Come here, you big rock dragon. Get up. Wake up. Get out of the dirt. What just happened? I'm gonna show you a pro tip later, where if, uh, I think it has to be you, uh, if you pause the game, you can actually, it, it'll skip this intro on multiplayer. But it has to be replayed, I remember, I remember correctly. Understanding how to buff that experience game. Yeah, those ones I'd save till you have an opportunity to specifically grind for it. Dragon Quest. Dragon Quest. It's a dagger. Do you want a high-level bow? Uh, yeah, why is there- is there another enemy around here? Hit hands, please stop following me, I'm not interested. Alright, I'm hoping we don't desync too badly here with, uh, enemy spawns, because otherwise these guys are gonna mess you up. Oh, 
a, a anything. And I don't do But all of a sudden, I don't want to be pulled on me. Oh, there they go. It's like aggro already. Dude. I want that. Nightstone. I I don't know why that's not even playing. Maybe they think it'd be too broken for like bow, then just don't like do it if you're using a bow. Simple as that. But... Not like getting hazarded. Yeah, it's a little bit further up. any of them. Really? I feel like there was something where only one person would get the item and everyone else would just get those leftover. I swore that was HR. I think it was the last attack bonus you're thinking of. Was it? It could have been. Maybe. Okay, uh, it was this and Utra Valley. So you should have got, if you remember we picked up the teleporter for the monolith, go ahead and warp back over there. Some of it is lit up now. Oh, yeah, I see now. So next we're going to go to Utra Valley, which is on the world map is uh, still in Norlingarth. What is it called? Utra Valley. U-E-T-R-A. I just saw that. It's on the lower... Do you have any teleporters there already? What, what uh... What part of the world map is it on again? It's in... Oh, you might not have it, actually. It's an optional. Okay, go to... Go to Susnil Mountains, then, and go to the very bottom teleport. Alright, alright. Oh, dropping my controller. Oh, dropping everything. Gosh dang it. This stream... This stream is dead. There is nobody here. That's unfortunate. That's all right. They don't have to watch me get a button. Hey. Still, no. Someone's gonna watch it. Every time I go back to the stream, they always. All right. I don't know if that was me or you, but um. What's up? Oh no, that was me for sure. Someone logged in. Someone sent something on Discord, but I forgot I have it both on my computer and on my phone. And I heard it twice. I'm like, uh oh. Let's see. I do 
feel like how these maps are way much, way bigger than HR. Arguable. Well, HR has feel. HR has some really big one, but yeah, they feel bigger. That's for sure. Yeah, I guess it's more compact than HR. And also, not at the same time. There were some that were just unnecessarily large. I'm looking at you, desert area. Like, even the first map, like, it's something we take for granted now, but, but because of our movement speed increase, but, uh, if you ever go back to the first map in the, uh, Restoria Plains, it takes forever to get across that. Even, even when we used all the speed buffs and, uh -huh. um, dashing. I mean, now we have our god-tier movement speed increase, and, our, and once you get the dash upgrade after beating the Stalvados Ruins... The Salvatos mm -hmm. ruins. Don't forget your teleporter. I remember. I don't. Th I don't think it was us. I just remember going into a bunch of rooms, and they were trying to defeat one of the knights. One of, I guess it was called like a death knight or something. Ooh. In the story of playing. Yeah, I know exactly and where that quest is too. Yeah, and everyone would use. I guess they would use their dash speed. They'd use the dash plus like all their speed buffs, and they would like dart across the map in like seconds. Mm -hmm. They probably also like did the that. trick where you dash, jump, and then threw your throwing yeah. knife. Yes. Yep. I remember that. I think you're the one that showed me how to do that. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> I love. I love that glitch. Like the momentum glitch. What did I call mm. it? The momentum system. Just to sound cool. <laughs> Dude, your, I uh, your partner is, is glitched way back in the sun. That's actually hilarious. Uh-huh. I see, I see your name, and then I see your partner. Not even there at the beginning. Lol. Is your partner next to you on your screen? It sure is. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, right, there they are. Oh, no, wait, they're just slowly glitching. They'll just stay there, and they're just next to you and next to you. That's funny. All right, this guy's kind of a this guy's a pain. He's he's, su he's super tanky. Oh. oh, hold on, I'll not get that right now. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna give you a uh, a buff uh, for, let me before we engage. already in launch mode. That's perfect. Good girl. I can't believe I got away with that. Oh. Let's see in the air. There we go. This oh. poor crab. He went into the hazard state and Alice launched him literally right as I went into my finish art. <laughs> The record system is honestly busted if you know how to work it. So it seems. Where are we at my chain burst? It's halfway there? On today's daily quest. I wouldn't bother healing yourself yet, we're about to jump off a cliff. Ah. Oh, this gives me anxiety. Oh wow, you're right. You really don't die. Alright. Mm-hmm. Lost all my health. 
what's really fun is having a full eight characters and just everybody throwing out a level three fire spell at once. <laughs> in limbo land for a bit but I'm out. Oh. My character fell like li right in between like the space of two rocks. And oh I'm no. Stuck there. Literally a yeah. rock in a hard place. <laughs> Pretty much. Somehow I, I, I don't know how I got out but I, I did so. If you That's do fall good. through something like that remember you can always switch to one of your partners and then do the recall. This is true. So you talk about that. Partner is too far away to order. Well, get back here, Alice. There you go. Yep. Two added appendages. It's probably using the same. See, if there, there's the slime gas. I know, because I had to sit there trying to... I remember that I screenshot you sent me years ago in the Volcanic Citadel. Yes, with that freaking slug... Oh, I was stuck there. Not, that's probably one of the hardest, like... And it shouldn't be, but it was definitely one of the hardest characters mobs I've had to face is because of the super small area that you were in. The fact that the guy AOE was the entire room. Yeah, like, the trick to that one was to leave the room, wait for him to do it, and the second he does, use your farthest reaching sword skill to put him into a weak state, go ham for a minute, then rinse and repeat. It also didn't help that I was like a level 200, but regardless, nobody that I had could take him out. I had to go with I think Klein, I think, and Adrian were the only two that could help me freaking mm -hmm. AOE. Alright, so since you skipped chapter one, I don't know if you've had a chance to use it yet, but have you seen what they let you do with the whip? I am not. I feel like I've used it on that. I don't know, maybe not. Let's see. I'm guessing. There it is. Um, follow me real quick. I'm going to show you two things. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> ah! I remember that trick I told you for getting up on higher platforms? Cast up one wind. Jump over. Okay, this one's good enough. You don't actually need to uh, use the sword slash. Huh. Alright. Where am I going? Alright, now once you're over here, equipped a whip. Hold on, let me, let me see if I can. I don't have to use the whip. I had to use one. Uh, okay, what do do? Equip a whip. Don't worry about resetting yeah. the sword skills. Uh, man, I gotta keep on doing this. I'd imagine you, you'll probably at least have one. You mean main weapon? Yeah. Well, if you don't, go ahead and just watch what I do. So the sword skill catch mode. Oh, I think I'm out of range. Nope. Oh. That's not fair. What the heck? How can you skip that? Yeah. Uh, cause, uh, they actually let you use it. They teach you it in story mode when you're ex Oh, I missed. When you're escaping prison. Right. Alright, uh, wait there. I'll be right back up. Alright. That's still the way, that's the way we still need to go. Touchpad is what you're looking for if you're looking for emotes. Yeah, 
Sit down. And it's the same way that I can sit down in HR. Yep. Alright, uh, come over here now. Oh, where are you at? Please get up. Wrap up. Turn off. I think you have to push, like, X. You turn off the menu and push X or circle one of the two. Alright, where, where are you? Over here. Look on your map. You know how to open the mini map, right? Yes, and I open up the actual map. Computer. Um, okay, you have a loan? Do you see me? I see you. I see your arrow, but I don't see yeah. you unless you haven't spawned. <laughs> and I got a last spike. Very, very heavy. <laughs> oh, there you are. Yeah, you weren't showing up on my screen unless I, I got I think I was behind the bush. Oh, oh fair enough. Uh, so right here. Oh, cool. It spawns, too. Uh, so it's not a guaranteed spawn. I don't know if you have it. I know it's here for me. Right here. Is. Uh, practice, practice and dedication. What I'd like to do is another time, like right now, keep up. And then a finesse for the jank. So is there an item right here for you? Uh, it says take. Yep, okay. Uh, this is the one of the few places where wild roses will spawn. So if you need one ever, this is the best place to get one. And it's not a guaranteed spawn either. Keep that in oh, mind. Okay. Oh, I like this area. I don't know why. Yeah, it's kind of it's kind of cool looking. Yeah, it's different from the normal story. Same story. I know what you mean though. I think my favorite map <laughs> is uh, Treatise Pass. Um, yeah, you ha you haven't been there yet. Yeah. So I'm hoping to find uh, an area similar to my favorite zone, which is uh, Crystal what is Jewel Peak Lakes. Uh, yes. Uh, unfortunately, there isn't anything that cool. We might get it in the DLC, though. Well, then again, the dungeons are really wild. The, like, the, the raid dungeons. I can see them right. making a raid dungeon that's crazy like that. Hmm. This is a very open... Yeah, I was absolutely expecting there to be a divine beast here. There was not. Huh. I'm getting super high. This is very open. Like, they just said, all right, let's just forget about adding anything to this area. It's, it's absolutely one of those areas. Like in HR, if you remember, we called several times where they eventually put the sacrament dungeons. Yes. Yes, I remember that. That's this exact scenario. That is what we're looking at here. They are going to slap something in here so hard in later updates. I'm hoping. All right, you ready to fight <laughs> a giant whale? In the middle of the sand? Giant sand whale. Also, you're going to hate these things, because they're going to freak out your camera, they're annoying to target, and unless you're using a ranged weapon, it's a pain in the rear. Oh, is this the same type of whale that I had to fight crossing a lake to save, uh... Yes, sir. What thing is Oh, I hate that thing, it's like a new person target. <laughs> so the, the, the trick is just to understand... I'm going to try the pause thing. Let me know if it spawns. I I oh, there it goes. It. Oh, yep. I barely missed it. He popped in. Alright, so the only hard part is target. Make sure you target his head. And once you actually got the proper target, your sword skills will hit him from down here, but it's still. I have enough SP for that, I do. SP back. I'm gonna take care of that real quick. Stay in this green thing I just did. Next time he does those, he'll be blocked. Oh, 
Okay, that was a wise throw. What was that? Yeah, it's a little annoying. I know. But inevitably, the comparisons are going to be there. I don't know if that's going to be any better than what you have. Oh, cool. He's he, he's going to be there in a minute. Unfortunately, doesn't change your appearance. Can you not get out of being visualized? Oh, uh, you just go back to visualize the tire and then just hit triangle over that thing. But your default look is oh. is this the uh, the armory clothes? Oh, that's kind of a bummer. I was hoping to get some cool looking. Yeah. I knew something was off. I'm back to... Uh, speaking of visualization, uh, my uh, Excalibur came off. Oh. It's because I changed Iron my weapon Fort earlier. Iron Fortress Sword. Now that's cool. I'm just going to swap over You're good. Also, the Divine Beast should have spawned now, so... Oh. If you thought you were dying before. Yay. That goes up. But... if I swap from the Might go up and if I do, though, I get special spectral armor plus, and by yeah, I'll screw it. I'll leave it without. All right. That was a. Why does the outfit look better with your hair color? <laughs> hey. Couldn't tell ya. <laughs> All right. Super low, super high level. Energy. Yep, back to Londen Mountains. Sweet. Alright, Londen Mountains, there you are. Nope, too far. There you are. What part of Londen? Oh, was it the uh, taboo land of abduction? Yep. We are woefully underprepared for this, and that's what we prepared for. <laughs> I Mighty beast resides in this smoldering, forsaken land, and I didn't get to read the rest of that description, so here's me mumbling in this epic voice. <laughs> oh gosh, I'm 13 at heart. <laughs> well, we all are. Gotta have some fun somehow. Right. 
Uh, I would uh, pre-charge any spells you might want to use. All right. Don't stray too far. As soon as this guy spawns, I'm going to throw out this force barrier and maybe keep you alive a little longer. I don't know if he's capable of being, um, befu not befuddled, um, whatever the status effect that does is. I like how I can already target this giant thing, despite the fact that he hasn't shown his face yet. Stop. Yep, there he is. Look at damn eyeballs. Watch this. Oh, that's Oh, spider. He shoots lasers. Right? I am going to preemptively charge, uh... Woefully unprepared. It's lasers. He is a laser spider. Yep. He's not even the worst. The frog is the worst one. Godhorn. I hate Godhorn with a passion. Wow, that hit me? Oh, crap. What the heck? He just lost. Oh, okay, now he's back. Okay, okay, I'm, I'm having some Tristans. Or he's just teleporting around the map. I accidentally. Why not? We'll uh, cast this again. Oh, they're incoming, incoming lasers. Get near me, quick. Yeah. If it, 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 he's targeting us. Awesome. Uh, Form recovery action. That's spawn. There's that. Good news has PCOS. Yes, stay, stay in my, uh... Oh, that was... Unfortunate time for that magic here to wear off. He's about to take a buttload of this. The first time Chris and I beat him, he licks him in the air. I can tell that's what he's doing. I know I know it happened in HR. There was the one dude that was blocking that path forward into a few lakes. 
I remember both you and I specifically got glitched out of bounds when we were talking about it. Yeah, yeah, Pro tip, uh, you can use your uh, super arts, the slow down time thing, as a, as a buffer to cast healing spells, even if you can't necessarily attack right that moment. Enjoy Savage Squall. Nice. That looks, that looks menacing. So they main? Uh, no, the only thing that sub hand. Oh, okay, you're asking is it better than what you're currently have equipped it? I see. Never mind. Yes. Remember, weapon bond is a thing. It is. So if the, if the base stats are higher, obvious, but it's still weaker, it means your weapon bond is buffing it, your your current weapon. Oh, good. My Galactic Jewel still isn't fully, but it's almost there. Sacred Arch damage, 35. Damage goes up. Attack goes up. Evade goes up. Agility goes up. Bite goes down slightly. And defense goes down by, like, what, 13, 14? Not bad. Yeah. All right. My current, my better Galactic Jewel has now overtaken in the attack stat, but my overall damage does still seem to be a bit lower. Oh, I was looking at the wrong Ah. I'm just swinging my sword around. Alright, so I just swap to the Night Sky to Blade as sub. And. Light goes up, Dex goes down, Ability goes up. Time 
change while I was in there messing around? I guess so. Huh. Oh, no wonder I couldn't see the sword. I have these stupid visualized on. Yeah, that would do it. There we go. So can I make them both visualize the same thing? I can. You can. Alright, now we're talking. Now I... Definitely looks like I don't think it is. See, here, here's here's the catch though. This is what you should do. Let me quickly attach a random sword. Oh yeah, let me. Here, here's my two shining galactic jewels. Interesting. Uh, those are actually not visualized. Those are the same weapon. But let's see. Uh, let's go, Savage Squall, like you have, and then Void Eater. Here are your true blades of darkness. Interesting. Literally, the fact that I love how characters will look at each other, because Moon just looks pissed as heck at your, like, just your existence. <laughs> how, dare you. how dare you wield dark weapons in front of me? How dare you wield them? <laughs> <laughs> Hoping one shot lands on me. What do I have on X? Inferno raid. Oh, I messed. I messed up the EX. Uh, do I have anything else that's cool looking? Let's see. Obviously, I can do this now. This is a thing. Cool, cool, glowy gear. Oh, well, look at that. I managed to get, um... Man, I'm so stupid for forgetting these names. Elucidator and Dark Repulsor? Yes, Dark... I'm gonna say Dark Repulsor first, but... Nice. Uh, it makes sense that they have them in the game. It'd be dumb if they didn't. And then I can get the reversed Night Sky Blade and Blue Rose. I'm digging that they have all this cool visual. Yeah, I'm a little... I'm a little bummed that Excalibur doesn't have anything, let alone, uh... The other two, and then I can do this as well. Uh, remove galactic jewel. Boop. You know, you want to know something funny? What's up? The beam sword still makes metal sounds. Like, if it collides with something, it doesn't sound like a beam sword, and I really hope they give it unique properties later. <laughs> well, I think in the actual show... No, it, it definitely makes beam sounds in the show. I think I lost you, Tony. I can't hear you. Oh, okay. Whoops. Somehow managed to press the mute button. Huh. Last I heard was in the show. Oh, I said in the show. I heard lightning sounds. I was like, oh, huh. That doesn't surprise me. Yeah, no, in the show it's got him. That's what makes it funny, is because you'll clash with something and it'll make the, the metal sounds like, wait a minute. And it, it, it's it's mm. literally, I'd probably use it a bit more if it wasn't such an immediate immersion killer. Yeah, and the fact that it's overkill and freaking, uh,. Uh, Fatal Boy. Is that what it's called? Fatal yeah. Boy, yeah. Oh man, the, the sword weapons in Fatal... Physical attacks in general in Fatal Bullet are busted. Like, they even uh, say in the show, like, uh, you use, uh, beam-type weapons, uh, usually on, like, mechs, and then you'd want to use, uh, physical mo bullets on anything organic, so, like, player characters and stuff. And because of that, it's the reason the physical attacks are so absolutely devastating, and I feel like they overtuned that in Fatal Bullet a little bit. Yet somehow people managed to do something. Every time I was in a online match with randoms, they were always freaking dual wielding. Like, right. Yeah, uh, the dual wielding gun and sword had an ability to block all bullets for a set period of time. Still pretty good. Which literally made it broken in PvP. Did they ever open that room? They were said they said they're gonna open. The which one? In, uh, the one that was right next to your, like, home base oh, room. Oh, yes. The yes, they did. One. They did. Alright. Uh-huh. As well as, well, I think, I, they added a, a mission later that can describe, it it's literally describes every single problem I have in Fatal Bullet summed up in one quest. 
where it's <laughs> tedious, it takes too long, and the reward is never what you expect and worse than it should be. So you get a quest <laughs> in one of the later DLCs uh, where Argo tells you she can get you a jukebox for your house. And so, you know, jukebox for your house in video game. What do you think that does? <laughs> right. No, literally, what do you what do you think it does? A jukebox? Yeah. It's supposed to play music, no? Yeah, so you'd think you'd think it'd play the soundtrack, yeah? Not a fair you'd think. All it lets you do is listen to the character voice files. Wait, what? Yeah, my my point what? exactly. My, guess guess what the quest actual is. It's literally a paywall, a, like an in-game paywall quest. In order to do that, you have to get Argo, like, what is it, 900,000 or million, whatever, coal credits in-game. And then it just, you know, I was like, okay, the, the soundtrack of Fatal Bullet is actually pretty good. Like, its basic boss theme mm -hmm. is fire. And then it's like, I was looking forward to that. And then, nope. I can listen to voice files. Oh, boy. oh my gosh, Fatal Bullet, why do you exist in the state you're in? It could have been a very good game, but they based it more off of Lost Song than they did HR. <sighs> that was developed by Dimps. That's the whole problem. It's Dimps. The best thing about it is its physics system, and some of its skills are pretty cool, but the problem is they're useless until you get them to level 3. Yep. And it's dimps. They're going to make. They're going to find a way to make you grind everything. Mm -hmm. I mean, it was a good game overall. You know, aesthetics was decent. Character customization was not bad. It wasn't bad, but it, if you were playing male, and like, I'll, I'll give credit because like the reason I'm playing female, female in uh, AL is because I hate the male options. All of them suck. Oh, but yeah, at, at least in fa at least in Fatal Bullet, there was enough that I, I felt I could play a dude and be relatively okay. But even then, you're still locked to either Grizzled Veteran or Baby Face Cheeks. Mm-hmm. That's what I liked about it. Uh, yeah. At B was, heck, if I wanted to have my hairstyle in the game, no feeling... Yeah, and, like, my biggest problem with this is still that, like... HR and HF had mouth and eyes as separate things. And now it's just default face options, and I want them to bring those back separately. Yeah, that's what I was kind of bummed about, because that was, uh... Because after I created my character, I was playing for like another hour, and I was like, oh, wait, I forgot, I can go get the eyebrows that I'm like, let me... Eyebrows that uh, Medina has. I was like, oh, sweet. And then I went back and was like, oh, wait, and I can only change if I change my entire face. Never yeah, mind. and that, that kind of sucks. Yep, so... It, 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 it lacks, but I think every game, a uh, SAO game has some major things that lacks. Oh, it, so it, which is hilarious. Like, uh, but they usually have what matters, and that's the combat. Mm -hmm. That said, I am, I am still getting tired, I've said it before. I'm getting tired that in a game series, or in a series in general, titled Sword Art Online, why is it that specifically in the games, the farther we go, the less sword skills we have? Yeah. Some, someone please explain that to me. Why is Lost, or Hollow Fragment still the game with the most sword skills? <laughs> That's how broken that game was. I mean, but like... Ugh. It, it, again, it just makes me laugh on another note, just... That they, I love how characters do interact, like, even if it's just looking, because it's just fun to watch uh, characters look at each other as they walk around. Mm-hmm. Do they have, they have that in HR, right? I think they did. Uh, not to this extent. <laughs> not to this extent. If they saw you in town, they would stop, turn on their access, and then wave to oh, you. Yeah. That's right. They would stop completely. Uh -huh. You're running past them at full speed. Yep, and you're already long gone, but they'd still stop, and yep. maybe you'd hear, maybe you'd hear the uh, the Konichiwa or yeah. something, but but you'd still get the dialogue popping up right in front of you. Yeah, or it'd be on the top, the way the the way the text bubbles would appear on the side of the screen, mm -hmm. in relative to the dir to the direction. Yep. Like, oh, cool, you're saying hi to me, but you're way over. Something I hope they do later, that they kind of add, and I've briefly touched upon this. Uh, 
I would like them to add, a, 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 like, a custom character in the regards of the way Lost Song did, where you can just add an extra character that'll just walk around the map. Right. Uh, as well as maybe allowing you to change what your idol poses are and your default sword style. Because, like... If you look at the way, if you, like, the way you swing, have you checked, have you, yeah. Have you seen how Alice and Yujio swing their swords? Yeah, it's very different. Yeah. Uh, compared to the Iron Crown, like, Yujio is, is still similar to Kiriko, but he changes it up later in the combo, because it's still technically the Aincrad style. But Alice is, mm -hmm. is not, and I hope they allow you to play with that and change that, as well as your idle poses. Yeah, that would be nice. Change your idol pose. Not every female has to stand here exactly the same. Yeah, or like, let me put my hands on my hip, but don't actually touch my hip because uh, we don't want the models to clip. <laughs> just levitating there. Yep, yeah. it's kind of awkward. <laughs> but then if you look at Alice and she folds her arms, which is the one I kind of want to use, because that's I'm actually surprised it's not clipping. You do actually, your character will fold their arms when you're talking to somebody. And um, Asuna's got her arms behind her back. Her back, yeah. Back. Everybody's got different ones, and I, I would love to be able to customize it. Mm-hmm. Give them more personality than just, uh, oh, look, we're all putting our arms on our shoulders. Yeah, the sad truth, though, is that this is a licensed game and not Dragon Quest X. <laughs> Very true. So even if I we yeah, I doubt we'll get stuff like that. Honestly, I think the best possible outcome that could happen is if uh, Aquaria were to just take the formula they've been using for these games and make an original IP. Hmm. That'd be pretty cool. Specifically, if I can be greedy, with HR's style of the combat system, because like. I like sword art. That's obviously not a secret. I mean, here we are. But, uh... It's just sword art in general that keeps people from playing these games, and that's what kind of sucks. Yeah. Sad to say. It's such we'll a device... It. Yeah. I mean... It is what it is at the end of the day. I enjoy the game, and mm -hmm. I guess that's all that matters. Hmm. All right, sappy talk is over, I suppose. Uh, anything else you want to kill while we're online? Not at the moment. I think I've gotten all the annoying losses out of my head. Cool beans. Uh, let me know when you're done with the desert. Uh, then we can take on that, that divine beast. Yeah, it'd be fun. I can see what the rest of the zones are like. Uh-huh. And you've still got two more entire areas. Yeah, what are they even based on? Westarth is Westerarth has a lot more of a, an oceanic vibe in certain areas. I know all of them kind of do at the very tips, like the right. the southern area. Westerarth, you see it though as early as its first map, and it's got a lot of cliffs, and then later a huge ravine with a dragon. Hmm. And east of Ariath is actually pretty varied. Uh, is it east of Ariath? Let's see. It's Norland Garth, Southern Crease. West Ararth, and then East of Ariath. Right? Right. East of Ariath, yeah. Uh, yeah, so the Sylvia Mountains is neat in East of Ariath, and then obviously I said Tredis Pass is one of my favorite areas. And then obviously mm -hmm. you get to the, uh, the Great Mound Road, where the, uh, the Eastern Gate is from the anime. Right. Huh. And the DLC is probably going to still revolve around that, because we don't... Uh, they su they make it... They suggest that they do stop the, uh... The stress test. But, so we don't know how we're going to interact with the, the Dark Empire, or whatever it's called. Right. That'll but, uh... Interesting. Yeah, I'm excited to see that. I'm really hoping we do get to play some of those other characters. Like, uh... I'm brain farting on their name. The martial artist people. Uh, I can't even remember. Yeah, but uh, like the the other subspecies would be fun to play as. Mm -hmm. Maybe actually getting. I I kind of I I am cautiously optimistic about being able to play characters like the uh, the witches or like that from the dark, because uh, their whole gimmick is that they're 
ridiculously good at sacred arts. So it'd be right. neat to have a character type where they're rebalanced so sacred arts actually do damage, but I don't want it to get to the point where it's like Lost Song, where there's just the spell you use and then literally nothing else. Has to be a specific caster class with specific caster spells. Uh huh. Or something. And because there there are characters already in the game like uh, Cardinal and Selka that focus more on sacred arts, and their stats in that are a little bit higher. So they're actually mm -hmm. mainly how you fight using that character. <sighs> yeah. I haven't played with it too much. Hmm. But I'm, I'm just excited to see how they do the maps. I mean, we obviously we have that first trailer for the DLC already, the first big story update. And I hope they don't make right. a habit out of letting Yu-Gi-Oh get possessed. That's going to be really annoying if they do. Yeah, I'm... I'm curious, because I know this game's well off. You finished the movie series, right? Oh, yeah. Anime, I'm, I'm curious how they're okay, going, I'm going to put Real quick, I'm going to put a preface. I should have already. Mm -hmm. Spoilers yeah. for anime. Just if oh, anybody I... ends up watching the uh, the archive. Anyway, go ahead. Oh, oh yeah. I don't... Is there anyone else in this chat right now? No, I think it's just me. The only view uh, current viewer is me having it up on preview. Anyway, go ahead. Oh, true. I forgot about that. Oh, if you want, if you don't want me to say anything, then I won't. <laughs> no, I, I I gave the spoiler warning. Go nuts. All right. Okay. No, I'm just curious. The way uh, they have the ending for the series, how that's going to play into the next game, considering it looks like it's going to be very space themed, if you know what I mean. Yeah, Lord, I hope not. Um, right. Like at the, it's it's weird because at the end of the day, Sword Art Online is actually a science fiction. It's a sci-fi. Which is hilarious to me, um, mm -hmm. but uh, on that same spectrum, it's also still very much fantasy, and they do actually have a light novel past right. uh, past Alicization already, and I don't know, I haven't read it obviously, but uh, I think it starts to go into that territory because I'm pretty sure uh, what's her name, Ronnie, is on the cover of it, right. but it's yeah, like it's space Ronnie. Also, why is yeah, she no. still alive? That made no sense to me. That's like I the one thing how. I didn't get. Were like, were they reincarnations or something? Like, what what are they? Because they had uh, in each of their planes, their in their mechs, they had a uh, blue rose and night sky blade on the ceiling of the plane. So, yeah, I thought that was supposed to be like several hundred plus years. Yeah, I mean, it was two hundred at the bare minimum. Yeah, I'm and and then freaking sure that... space beholder. Yeah, like, uh-oh. Like, that's what I'm worried about. Like, what if this next game is going to be all customize your ship and... I mean, oh, oh my gosh. I, I mean, at that point, <laughs> at that point, you're absolutely stretching the title of Sword Art Online. Yeah. And because we already kind of were with Fatal Bullet, but they still found a way to loop it back. But, like, I, I don't, I don't think... It, it, it wouldn't sound... <laughs> it wouldn't really feel like Sword Art anymore if we were fighting with mechs with swords. That's true. I, feel, I do feel like there's going to be a lot of uh, laser sword involvement in this one. Though. Yeah, that's fine, I suppose, but uh, we'll see how it goes. And here's the thing, at the end of the day, the games are still alternate timeline. There is literally nothing stopping them from making another in-between. Yeah, yeah, that's very true. Like, because both uh, Lost Song and a Hollow Realization are completely original without any attachment to previous material. With the exception of Lost going Song, over the yeah. Story. With the exception of Lost Song being uh, set in Alfheim, and obviously I was excluding. That's why I said uh, without any attachments to pri previous material, because uh, right. HF Hollow Fragment, while its story is technically original, it does play off of at least up through Floor 75. Right. And then Lost Song, its only real attachment is it's an Alfheim, but it's a brand new expansion with five new islands. So you're not actually mm -hmm. in the rest of the uh, the fairy kingdoms. And again, nice like, uh, and then Fra Realization obviously is set in Ein Ground, or Sword Art Origin, where they reused the cardinal systems, mapping systems, and everything for Sword Art Online, which one of the big things about that was the controversy of it. Right. Because they're literally recreating areas from Sword Art. But they used, uh... They actually... I was, so, I was actually really happy when, uh... Progressive brought it up. Because, uh... 
HR didn't just make up the backstory for Einkrad before Einkrad before it was pulled into the floating castle, because they actually bring mm -hmm. it they actually bring it up in Progressive. Right. Uh, and then obviously Fatal Bullet is. <sighs> Man, I I can't express how disappointed I still am in that game's narrative. Because the stupid the avatar, I, I hate the fatal bullet. I hate the avatar yeah. with a burning passion, because he has no reason to be in half of the scenes he is in. Like the scene where Philia has a mental breakdown because she has to fight a doppelganger that is completely lost on the avatar. He knows nothing, <laughs> nothing of that. Yet there he is instead of Kibo himself. Um, and even then, when you do get the the alternate timeline death gun, which I was so excited. I'm going to be clipping this entire thing, aren't I? The entire death gun <laughs> thing. Um, Ooh, turn like, off, please. The death gun segment that we were so so looking forward to is just mm -hmm. uh, activate Kirito mode. Watch a couple cutscenes. Beat a mook. Watch a couple cutscenes. Beat a mook. Watch a couple cutscenes. Oh, look, it's death gun. Uh, get him his health. His, yeah. Decrease HP by one third. Cutscene, HP restored. Do it again. Cutscene, HP restored. Get him to half health. Cutscene, do it again. Kill him. The cutscene you were waiting for the entire time, and then, meh. Yep. <laughs> oh, jeez. Yeah, I never understood the character mode. I just played it to get it, to get it done with. <sighs> it sucks, because that's like the moment I wanted to see in the alternate timeline. I mm -hmm. wanted to see how Kirito's different choices and everything affected that. Because, like, it's funny to me how Kirito is a much more upbeat and positive character in the alternate timeline. Mm-hmm. Like, oh, he never does wrong. He's perfect, you know. I wouldn't say he's perfect either, but... Well, in, in the game, it's like, it make him seem like, oh, he's... Yeah, that's... Uh, okay, I will give you that. He, uh... His character flaws aren't as exaggerated in the games, and that... I do think Alicization did actually help fix that. Right. Because uh, you still see a lot of his character flaws that you see in the anime in this. But he hasn't suffered nearly as much loss in the same way. He got closure for Sachi in Fragment if you did that hollow, if you did that side quest, which is considered canon to the, this timeline. Right. And just a lot oh. of the stuff that wrecked him mentally didn't necessarily happen. Sugo happened inside of... SAO, and they took care of him there. That's very true. So the entire fairy dance arc just doesn't happen that way. <laughs> That's confusing. Though there are several... Enjoy... Go ahead. No, I enjoy all the stuff they add on, so... Yeah. But... Anyway, that seems like a good spot to stop the stream. Yeah, fair enough. Cool beans. Uh, let me click my end slate here. Uh, but, uh, you know, again, since this will probably be uh, archived, this will be archived. Anyone who's watching the archive, since no one really watched the stream, uh, thanks for watching. Keep it real, keep it weird, and stay excellent.